First, let me show you some new movies that are opening this weekend on the old Dean's List reviews. We think this family was cursed. I am not going before a grand jury and saying he was possessed by demons. New this weekend, Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga are back as paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren in Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, the third in the series focused on the couple that hasn't met an exorcism they didn't like. Now set in the early 1980s, a demon slips from the body of a possessed boy into someone who dared the devil to take his body. He accommodates him and winds up committing a brutal murder. Enter the ghost-loving Warrens, who now try to prove that it was the demon that committed the murder, not the man. Along the way, there are plenty of jolts and jerks, though fewer and less intense than the previous two Conjuring movies. Think of it as scary light. It's a Dean's List C Plus in theater and on HBO Max. In Spirit Untamed, a young girl moves from the city to a rural small town where she finds her kindred spirit in a wild horse. All that's fine until a heartless horse wrangler comes along and has different plants for her new best friend. There's very little that's new or unique about Spirit Untamed, but kids will like this nice story of loyalty and tradition and adventure. It's a Dean's List C Plus only in theaters. You solve all the riddles, find all the clues, and you get a prize. New on Apple TV Plus this weekend is Lisey's Story, a new series based on a Stephen King novel about a widow who becomes the object of a dangerous stalker obsessed with her late husband's work. The series has been adapted by King himself for the book that he calls one of his favorites. Also new is the series Sweet Tooth, about the emergence of babies who are born part human, part animal. One of them lives quietly on his own in a secluded home, but is befriended by a wanderer. Together they set out on an unbelievable adventure looking for answers. See it on Netflix. For the first time, we weren't letting ourselves be carted off to jails. We weren't letting ourselves be cowed and intimidating. Gay people were actually fighting back. And for the first weekend of Pride Month, I'm recommending the documentary American Experience, Stonewall Uprising, originally airing on PBS 10 years ago. It follows the events surrounding the Stonewall riots in New York that sparked the gay rights movement. See it on Amazon Prime Video. And as always, you can get my weekend movie reviews and home video pics sent right to your phones every week. Just text the word DEAN to 97999.